the single modern women who demand to be loved. Okay, boys, I'm a single 30-year-old woman. I do my own yard work. I pay my own bills. I pay my own taxes. I keep my dog alive, wherever he is. Okay, everything she just said is normal. It's very regular and normal for a person of her age. She's taking care of herself and her life. Nothing really impressive so far. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you mean why you're single? Why well, you've got a dog, but not the dog you want? As in a man, in other words, a man. So, 30 plus, not bad looking. Obviously, she can get men. Obviously. However, however, is it the men she wants? Or can she only get the men that want her? What am I doing wrong? But I hope you're doing well. Hope you're focused and on your square. Okay, single woman in her 30s demanding to be loved. Funny nowadays, many women demand to be loved. What I find interesting is, and some would say it's cap, the fronting, in other words, when women say that men talk crap because in their 30s and 40s and so on, they can still get men. Yes, you can. However, the point these women don't make or make to younger women is not the same quality of men. Even when women say they can sleep with younger men, yeah, you're just fun for him. Not to be crude, you're just another hole. Disgusting. You're just another hole. Not being crude. You know, the most insecure thing about modern women is when they say men want to sleep with them. I always think, why are you saying this? It's obvious. We're men. Women say and tell us all the time we're dogs and we think with our penis. So we know this is clarified. So why as a woman would you boast that men want to sleep with you? It's obvious. But the thing is, men, the thing is, the insecurity lies in the fact of... They can get much, plenty, hot D, yeah? <laughs> but many still end up with cold beds. Hot D, cold bed. The story of modern women. It's like, what makes you stand out compared to other women? We're enough waffling. Let's begin. This comment is really funny because I really... <laughs> Sounds like you really enjoy being alone. At this point, you're right up against the wall that girls hit at 30. Soon, no one will be in your DMs at all. No one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Crimson Pepe. Wow. <laughs> That's brutal for no reason. I very much doubt that. First of all, I'm hot. Secondly, oh, for, oh, oh, really? That is so lame. Oh my God, the modesty. Why do all women think they're tens? Why do all women think they're beautiful? Why do all women think they have good box? All women seem to think their sex is good. And it's like, no, 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 no. There's variations. Y'all are so desperate. I will have, I will have men in my DMs when I'm 80. My grandma, my great grandma, she had like four boyfriends, four or five boyfriends before she died. And no one knew. Like, none of her boyfriends knew about each other. And they all showed up at her funeral. And I have her jeans. Proper garden tool. So, I don't, I'm not worried. I'm not too worried. Bullshit. Keep the girl that's badass enough to get everybody's attention. But loyal enough to only want you. <laughs> loyal, loyal modern women. What? Yeah. Women are loyal to themselves, money, and on occasion, good D. Just like a woman. That's it. But you want me. So I just had a conversation with one of my guy friends, and we were talking about what do I, as a woman who's nearing 40, bring to a table to a man? Nothing. It's nothing. 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 Absolutely nothing. You might bring baggage kids and medical issues but seriously 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 women can bring something to the table the thing is modern women have been so delusioned to think they don't need to bring anything that they actually believe it now i am the table they literally believe it now it's it's weird i don't know fake it till you make it i guess because i'm not going to be providing him with children and I was like, clearly not, Cl clearly, clearly not. Should I be putting out on my bio that I can make sandwiches? Like nothing. It's sad nowadays that women saying they can cook. They try to use that as a point to say I'm a good woman because I can cook. The sad thing is it, it shouldn't work, but it kind of does for some men because so many women can't cook nowadays. So a woman that can cook, it's not even impressive. It's just mildly, okay, she can cook. That's great, but the last five chicks I dealt with couldn't. As a, I'm curious, as a man, because this is who I'm directing this to, do women need to provide something to you? 
Are you si- Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Probably let her finish saying what she's going to say before I respond, but did she really just say that? Do women need to provide something to you for you to be attracted to them? But the point that she's missing is many modern women nowadays call you a pick me for trying to be a woman that men desire. So many women are actually, you know, causing themselves damage by spreading nonsense that they shouldn't be attractive for men, but still want men to want them. So I get your point, but modern women are absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm going to edit this one as much as possible because she's moving her camera very quickly and she's not really wearing much. So this may look weird, but I'm just trying to stay ahead of her camera movements so my video doesn't get in trouble. Fast track to success for women is to be overly sexualized. Or we can choose to not leverage our sexuality and play against the boys, but unfairly be called out for being annoying, bitchy, not polite, too loud, and you stand to wonder why so many smart, intelligent girls are half naked on social media. Love, we're playing the strategy. This isn't for you. Because you know what comes with social media clout? Real clout. And you know what's funny? She's saying things as if we don't know them already. Yeah, we know them. Yeah, it's obvious. It's nothing new. This is why I take the piss. Yeah, I objectify women. I'm not gonna stop. Because that in itself is stupid. I'm a man. <laughs> women know themselves. They can sell their sexuality and they do all day long yeah keep busting it open women yeah classy women don't have one night stands we have auditions and that's why some women never get a call back it's not our fault she didn't get a call back oh touche oh touche she actually said it i guess it works both ways so a couple of days ago i made this post about um online dating problems and how when guys see like my profile picture that's like this this is probably the cringiest thing i see women doing nowadays the fact that so many women do it as well and it's like no no i don't think it's cute i don't think i don't even know i don't even know why it started or why women started doing it i think it's just horrible i don't know why you all do it. even hot chicks that do it i don't like it because you all do it even if you're not hot it's nah and then they see my whole body picture which is like this <laughs> that we have some sort of disconnect that happens. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not, la I'm not laughing at what you think I'm laughing at, okay? All right. I'm laughing because I understand the disconnect what some people may have made. Now, do I agree? I'm not saying anything. I'm just, let's yeah, just carry on. And first of all, the amount of comments I got telling me I'm gorgeous and beautiful makes my heart like explode. I cannot thank you all enough for saying those great things. But what really bothers me is the amount of women who have commented on that post that they feel the same way, that they have the same issue. And it just really like disheartens me that there's something in our society that says, men are allowed to say, mm, I like your face, men I don't like your body. Like, why are we being judged so harshly? Because it's normal nowadays, because women have been judging men for decades now, men are just doing the same thing. Women are just in their feelings. Oh, love me, oh, love me. Nah, 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 fight for it. And I just, I think we just need to continue to lift each other up. And you know what, ladies? Uh, to be honest, the weight of some modern women, you can't lift them up even if you wanted to. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I don't care if the men like us or not, because you are wonderful. You're beautiful. Keep doing you. Even though I struggle with that too, we got to be there for each other. More modern women delusion. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this influencer that I follow closely, and I'm sure a lot of you do, and we've actually worked with her, but uh, she's going through like a really hard breakup right now. And man, like my heart just goes out to her because I remember after my breakup, like I literally thought that I was never gonna be whole again. Like he was the person I thought I was gonna end up with, to be honest, and it was sort of a heartbreaking situation. Like no one did anything wrong. It just, we realized we weren't right for each other. And um, like, it just makes me want to talk to everyone who's going through a breakup right now and be like, I promise you, you're going to be whole again. And this door shut for a reason. Anything that's meant for you cannot pass you by. And like, you deserve better. Like the universe made sure that this ended so that something better is going to come along. And yeah, we mean, God's going to send you a man. Just be patient and stuff. Be patient magic magical stuff the universe entities and energies and transference of magical powers yeah all that jibber jabber nonsense yeah feel it women yeah yeah feel it it feels good it feels good yeah i just think about how much my life has changed in such a positive way in just a year and uh, i just want to say that to anyone that's going through a breakup you got this oh that's so beautiful breakups are difficult to be honest they are difficult sometimes all you need is a bit of magic and everything's a bit better 
So I got a fun piece of trivia for all my single ladies over 30. If you've been calling yourself a spinster, stop. It's actually just inaccurate. My friends and I discovered this when we were talking the other day. Fun enough, the term spinster actually only applies to women aged 23 to 26. Okay, interesting, interesting. So what do you call women older than 26? Shong Yu. Yeah, we know the leftover women, but what else do you call them? Cute. And if you're older than that, that actually means you're a thornback. A thornback. Whoa! Oh my god, a new word. A thornback. To use in a sentence, these modern thornback broads. Oh, oh wow, it sounds smooth, doesn't it? It sounds nice. So apparently single women older than 26 are called a thornback. Thornback women. Leftover thornback women. <laughs> you know, one has to wonder, why are there so many historical and modern terms for single women of a certain age? It's interesting, isn't it? What is a thornback, you might ask? This. This is a thornback. <laughs> this is what you become when you're single over 30. No way, it's a manta ray. No, my bad, my bad. It's not a manta ray. It's not a manta ray, please. How common of me. It's a thorn back ray. But you want me. A thorn back ray. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even be mad. That fish looks so unbothered. It feels like the right energy to channel for your 30s. Where are my other thornbacks at? I think we need to get a group together and make sweatshirts. Silence, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Many modern women are independent and they don't need a man. By 30, obviously, you know, many have fallen off. They've hit the wall. They're not as hot as they were in their 20s, but they're confident still because men still want to give them D. So for some women, they assume nothing's changed when the reality is deep down, they know. They know. It's nothing. They will never be that hot ever again. So yeah, many women have an endless supply of men. How many of those men want to stay with them afterwards? Yeah, have a nice day.